All right, guys, this podcast is brought to you by Body Armor 2.0, the continuation or the next phase of Body Armor, my eight-week body weight only program. Now, if you're looking to get in shape, to improve performance, and to enhance your body composition, this is the program for you. If you've already done Body Armor, the next phase of this, the next step is to do Body Armor 2.0. So make sure you do it. And if you haven't done any of those, make sure you check out Body Armor and Body Armor 2.0 down link is in the description let's get started let's get after it now on to the podcast Mickey Ward, thank you so much for being here, man. It's an honor and a pleasure. Thank you, bud. Thank you again. So, yeah, no problem. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about just the, your upbringing, you know, um, starting in Lowell. What was right. it like growing up there, first of all? Like, I know I, my, my father's actually from Boston. Right, my whole okay. side of the family, so I, I understand oh, the right, accent. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I said I got my Dunkin' Donuts here. Oh, yeah. Well, you brother. Know. But, uh, <laughs> so how, did, how, how was that? It was good. I mean, yeah. um, you know, it was um, like any other, you know. Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of sisters, seven sisters, uh, one brother. I was going to tell you. Ask you know, a that. big family. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it was good, yeah. you know. There was craziness, but, you know, when you go when you're young, you don't know, realize it, you know what I mean? Uh, you just think it's normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was good. I mean, you know, when you nine the ordinary. Like, with nine siblings, like, how was that, like, getting the attention of your parents? And, like, did, did they let you kind of do whatever you wanted to do? Yeah. Or, like, no, how no, was no, not really. You know? No, it was uh, it was good. No, the thing about it is though, is like when I my older sister, my oldest sister, my two older older sisters, uh -huh. and Dickie still lived at home, but they were out of the house when I was younger, so it was only like seven of us in there, six of us or whatever. Gotcha. Uh, Dickie was gone half the time, yes. half the time he'd be back, mm -hmm. you know, when he when they when uh, the the wife or girl throw him out, he'd be back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, <laughs> but you know, so it wasn't like nine of us out one time in there, but uh. It was, you know, it was good. That's all I knew, you know. So when you when you grow up that young, just that's all you know. Then sure. you think it's normal. Yeah, that's you know, true. I mean, it wasn't really, you know, it was some craziness. You know, it got crazy a lot. I get, you know, as I got a little bit older, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, young was like just going to school, fine, whatever, play yeah. sports and. You followed around Dicky a lot, right? Back, mm -hmm. when I, I heard in the story, um, you used to take the train. And with him, you were like five. Six yeah, I was like six. Like, and yeah. he was thirteen or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be crazy. Yeah. Now looking back at it, like I'm yeah, a parent, was, I'm like, oh, that's crazy, you know. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now I say, wow, we used to go from Boston. We're well, not from Boston. Excuse me. We go from Lowell oh. on the train to Boston, then from Boston in uh, North uh, North Station. Yeah. To Randolph, Mass, or whatever, down by Randolph, Mass, uh, which is uh, whatever. So how that, long did that take you? How long? Probably uh, over an hour, or two hours, or something. Yeah. I mean, between you take the trains. Yeah. I did. I vaguely remember. I was a kid. I remember. I remember it, but not so good because I was only I was young, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he. I used to follow him everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you know, he's the older brother. For and, sure. Yeah, yeah. And I had seven sisters. I mean, who am I? I don't want to follow them around. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I'd be in worse fights. <laughs> <laughs> you learned, obviously, you learn how to fight pretty well. When did you start like really getting into to fighting? Though? When I was seven. Yeah. My first fight, I was seven. My first fight is funny. I fought the Lynn Harbor House in Lynn Mass, yeah. right outside. Yeah. Got rained out in the second round, so they canceled it. <laughs> but you know who I fought? Yeah. Joey Roach, oh, Freddie wow. and Freddie Freddy. Roach's brother, yeah. Yeah, younger brother. That's amazing. Yeah, wow. he was like ten. Small world. I was seven. Yeah. He was like three years older than me, or yeah. two, or whatever. He, is that. he from that area? Yeah, Freddie's in Dedham. From there, right? Dedham, yeah. Mass. Yeah. That's awesome. I've known Freddie since I was six years old. Oh man, that's a legend, for yeah. sure. So like, all right. So now, when you're in the boxing gym, like you're you're obviously the younger younger guy. Mm. How was it in in the gym, like going up there sparring stuff like that? You know, with Dickie, it was, it was, it was, he, when I, he put me in with the best person because he, he knew I could handle myself, but he'd be like, no, no, don't take it easy, I'm open up on him, I'm saying like, yeah. you mother effer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. a young kid. Yeah. I'm more advanced than I was, I'm sparring older people. Sure. I couldn't spar kids my age because I was more advanced, you know? Mm -hmm. Not every kid, but most kids. Mm -hmm. 
So who do they have these other guys, the older guys, cause, you know, and they're banging me around. I'm like, you know, I'm like, well, yeah. but I took it and I just kept coming back and coming back. And I think that's how I get better and better. But did you think that was more internal or was it you didn't want to let down your brother at that uh, particular time? To be honest with you, I didn't even care. Yeah. Letting him down, I didn't care, but I just wanted to get in there and get out of there. Yeah. Then you know what the funny thing is, I wanted to get in there and get out of there fast as I could. Yeah. Just try, uh -huh. because younger, I like baseball and football better than boxing. Really? But I still boxed all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my passion was baseball. Mm. I played baseball up until high school, and then I stopped. Yeah. But I well, play, actually, I played high, high school freshman, and then I stopped. What position did you play? Second and third. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hard con. Yeah. I definitely got to get you introduced to Mo. Have you ever met Mo? No, I never met him. No, get you but I know Big yeah. Poppy. Good, I, I golf in his golf tournament. Oh yeah, Dominican. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I think I was overhearing that like, in the beginning, with the mouthpieces too. I want to talk about that. Oh. With the oh, <laughs> talk gross. a little bit about that a little bit. Uh, well, that, that's that, like old school that, boxing, right? Yes, there. The, in the West End gym, yeah. old school, right? Yeah. They used to have a pickle jar. Yeah. A big pickle jar. <laughs> And whoever didn't have a mouthpiece, uh -huh. I mean, everyone in the gym like, didn't have a little mouthpiece, right? Oh, so you, the mouthpiece is in there, and they have a disinfectant, obviously, in there, you know what I mean? But yeah, still, it was yeah, gross. Yeah. Someone's spying, and be all blood, right? Uh -huh. And their nose, and like, oh, hawkers, and all that. Totally. They throw it in the thing, right? Next person, if they didn't have a mouthpiece, you take it out, and you put it in the guy's mouth. Oh, and the guy man. that put it in your mouth, like, Arthur, right? <laughs> you know, he <laughs> smoked cigarettes, so he had cigarette butt fingers. <laughs> Oh, I just forgot, I'd be like, oh, oh no, I, I always have my own mouthpiece, yeah, I never yeah. use one of them. Yeah. But when he put the Definitely. freaking mouthpiece in my finger, in my mouth, I could smell the cigarettes, and I was like, oh. Oh, that's crazy. You know, but yeah, we used to use that thing, I'm like, oh my God, lucky, I never used it. I'd spot without a mouthpiece before I put one of those in my mouth. Oh, I bet. But back I then, bet. Though, everyone did it. It yeah, wasn't like it is now. I'm sure. And nobody really knew either. No. You know, like just if, if it was now, it'd be like, they had that yeah. place to be shut down I know. half I, a day. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Especially nowadays. Yeah, you know, exactly. Was, well, that, man. <laughs> um, so that was the same gym. Was that the same gym in the movie? Yeah, the same owner. Same Arthur owner? Romalo, yeah. yeah. Great guy. Yeah. He's like a legend. He, low, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. If it wasn't for Arthur Romalo, there wouldn't be no me. Yeah. There'd be no my brother, Dickie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, all yeah. that. So, and not just me and Dickie, half... Half the kids alone, not half the kids, half the kids that boxed alone. Box alone, yeah, yeah. From like the white kids mm -hmm. and the black kids, we mm -hmm. all got along. We, I know them all because of boxing. Yeah. And that brought us all together. For sure. I know them from yeah. the, in the schools and we'd all be friends, mm -hmm. you know, hanging out. Mm -hmm. A little white kid and the elves who, like, all the black kids, I'd be like, hey, you know what I mean? But, cause, yeah. like, Trying to hang on. I, me and this kid and Andy, I still hang, to, hang on this day, today. That's cool. You know, uh, that's, that's awesome. what brought us together, you know, in boxing. I think I think in any sport will bring ethnicities, religions mm -hmm. all together for a common goal. You right, know, yeah. and especially in a sport like boxing where it's very primal. You know, yeah. everybody has that fighter instinct yeah. in them at least at one point in time. One hundred percent. When did you, when did you really get to like realize that you were a fighter? Uh, it's funny. Um, even when I turned, I turned pro at nineteen. Mm -hmm. I had won the. Uh, the Golden Gloves, I went to the Nationals. Went to the Nationals for the Golden Gloves, I went to the Nationals, ABF Nationals with Mike Tyson in 83. Mm -hmm. We're on the same team. Uh, so I know Mike since then. Yeah. And, uh, but I really didn't think I would, I wanted to go pro, sure. but I didn't think I would like, I just wanted to do it to like, see how far I could go. Okay. Not to make it my living, like how gotcha. I'd make my income, how I would, pay the bills or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? Cause I was also doing asphalt paving and all that, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's a hard job too. Yeah. Very and I was doing that up until three years ago. I went back doing <laughs> really? it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Three years ago? Yeah, wow. I was doing That's concrete, awesome. asphalt. Yeah, I did it up until awesome, three years ago, yeah. yeah. Because the thing about it is like, if you don't work, you're going to go through everything, you know what I mean? So yeah, I said, yeah. why can't I? I'm young enough to work, why, why not? Mm -hmm. And that's not, that's not the only thing that I know how to do. Yeah. I could try, I was training fighters down here too, but then I just went back to doing that because mm -hmm. it just seemed like it's you know, it's hard training people. Be I, at that time, I, I was getting aggravated because everybody wanted to go from here mm -hmm. to here overnight. And you know, as being a strength conditioning yeah. coach, yeah, it's, tough. it's a process. It's definitely a process. And they don't want to go through that process, the kids nowadays. It seems yeah. like they want to just do whatever they want to do and mm -hmm. so many different like things on the phone, on this, on that. It's like their mm -hmm. mind's everywhere. For sure. So I kind of like just... Got away from it. I got burnt out also. So mm -hmm. right, that's no, why I went back to the construction. I can understand that. I can understand that. You get, and you reach a pinnacle of success, and it's like, well, where do I go from here? 
and especially mm -hmm. when you where you reach that at that at that peak of your success. Right. And it's kind of hard because you know what it takes, but they don't know what it takes. And right. you can't you can't really tell them that they have to go through that. It's, exactly, it's, it's they that, have to do it themselves. Yeah, trial and error, man. Yeah. So you turned pro. You said at 19, yes. right? And then you did you hurt your hand before you turned yeah, pro? Yeah. Uh, no, I hurt it. I hurt my hand right after I fought in the Hagel Leonard card, 87. Oh wow. What, 80, so right, April, right, April was in April, right the right hand, hand yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. Screws in and out, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with altercation with, you know, mm -hmm. the police and things like that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of those unfortunate things, and mm -hmm. you know, I got stitches in the head from it. Oh, that was in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my hand. Yeah. You know, and it's just part of, like, being young, being in the wrong place. Actually, it was more of being in the wrong place at the wrong Being in the right place at the wrong, whatever you want to call yeah, it, at yeah. the wrong time, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And it wasn't Dickie's fault. It was no one's fault, but I think this would have happened uh, when he, they threw him down on the ground before they arrested him. I said, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. That's, all I had to, that's all he said, and I got tackled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I went up to the police officer years later and told him, I said, you know, I'm sorry, because I ended up being a prison guard after that. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that too, but keep going. Sorry. So I went up to him, and um, being a prison guard, knowing, like, you don't, because you're, you're taught to, like, really watch everything, and you're kind of, like, taught to, like, be on your toe. Like, everything's, yeah. a, everything's a, uh, when you're an officer, like, everything's coming at you, or mm -hmm. you got to think everything's, like, mm -hmm. so I think, I don't know if he overreacted or what, but now I understood it being a, a CO. Yeah. <laughs> this was after, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is after. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is after. They had to get an assault and battery in the car, and I still got the job and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I went to the cop in the low auditorium with the ball golden gloves, and I said, you know, I'm mm -hmm. sorry if, you know, I would not, I never would have did anything. I'm, I apologize for putting you in that spot mm -hmm. of like, n not, you thought I was coming at you, but I was never coming at you. He goes, he, he looks at me, he goes, Mickey, you're more of a man than I am. Yeah. He shook my hand, you know, and we gave a hug. And oh, nice. All the guys I know, all the police officers, all great guys, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It was just a wrong, yeah. you know, I don't hate cops. I love cops. I, I just, yeah. yeah. It's just, they, it happened, it happened. You gotta, you know, why hold that grudge? Yeah. Let it go. It for happened. Sure. I think a lot of people should understand that, you know. Yeah, you hold know, grudges just, for a long time. It no kills you inside, you know what exactly. I mean? It, it mentally it kills you. Mm -hmm. It burns you up inside for yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. And that kind of negatively affects the the thought process you have with other individuals when you meet them. It's like there's a lot of things that are better off being left alone. Yeah. And you don't have to always keep going back to those days. Right, yeah, exactly. I put know? it to bed. Pretty exactly, much. exactly. And then finally, my one of my... Main train is my one of my to this day a great friend of mine, Mickey O'Keefe, mm -hmm. in the movie. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Mickey O'Keefe too, yeah. um, coming and helping me out when I was in a dark dark place, yeah. uh, with some drugs, oh. with everything, yeah. he got me out away from all that, yeah. and I never went back. This was after the hand. After the hand, yeah. yeah. This was like way after the hand. This was like so when that when that did happen, I'm I'm pretty sure you went through some depression. Right. Or at yeah, least, yeah. At least some, like, I try to be like I'm always hippity. I'm always yeah, like, optimistic. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't really. You were able to bounce back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I, I got a strong mind. I just try always. Sure. That's good I mean? to know because a lot yeah. of people, and I'm saying that because a lot of your people, mind control. I mean, you can only like, your mind controls everything, but yeah. you can only do so much. You sure. know, you can't do everything on your mind, but yeah. But if you keep stay strong and positive, I mean. It's, well, it's, 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 I say that because I've been through a lot of injuries, you know, uh, I've done, I played college football, professional fighter, powerlifter, strongman, done some crazy stuff right, in my yeah. body. Right. And every time I get an injury, it's like, all right, step back. And then it's another step back. And I know fighters that I work with that get, you know, almost career ending, ending injuries mm -hmm. that throws their mind in a lot of different ways. And, and they have to have that mentality of killer's mentality of like, this isn't going to stop me. Right, yeah. So that was really good that you said that because I know that for a fact, and it wasn't even like you heard it in the fight. It was like things right, that were yeah. so, could have been left alone and not been done. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, all right, now what do I do? Yeah. And you, you overcame that. Well, you got, you, it's a thing where it's like, you know, cliches fall off the bike and all back, but it's kind of like that. Yeah. And, you know, it's like you got to, how's this? If you don't do, if you don't come back and do it, give it your all mm -hmm. or whatever, you're always going to look back and say, why didn't I? What I think that would what if? eat me up more than anything else in my life. Yep. Why didn't I try it again? Why didn't I mm -hmm. give it another shot or whatever mm -hmm. it might be? You know? Do, do you ever like, like assess 
certain things like let's say for instance obviously you assess your fights and stuff like that do you ever like recollect and think like okay maybe i could have did this better or could have did this no. different nice never you know why honestly and this is not like i'm not saying this just to say it for, yeah, yeah. for whatever yeah every fight i fought i trained as high as i could mm -hmm. i ran as high as i could i gave everything i had in the ring in a fight maybe sometimes i didn't look like it mm -hmm. but that's all i had that night yeah yeah. You know what I mean? It might have looked like I was like this, that, but no, I, I, it just wasn't my night or whatever reason. Yeah. But I know every time I walked out of there, I gave it 110%. Mm -hmm. So if I lost, so be. Yeah. But if I lost not training or whatever, I, or a better man beat me that night, you got to yeah. shake the hand and that's it. Come back stronger next time. Learn yeah. from it. It wasn't a lack of preparation. No. Yeah. So when I, walk, when I walked away, never want to come back because right... I gave it everything I had when I could do it. Yeah. Now, right now, if I didn't do that, if I didn't give everything I had when I, when I was able to do it, mm -hmm. now that I'm saying when I was 45, oh, now I, I think I'm smarter and stronger now. I can do it now. I know yes. I, got, I got it. No, you're not. Boom, shit. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. do it then. <laughs> yeah. It ain't happening. You know yeah. that. Yeah. 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 No. So, like, so I know I gave everything I had when I had it, and when I walked out, mm -hmm. I, knowing that I gave everything I had, I was happy here, here. Sure. Yeah. As long as I know in here and here, I don't care who thinks not otherwise, as long as I know it here, I live in my body, no one else does. Sure. As long as I thought it and knew it and know it and showed it, that's all I needed. So I was happy with what I did. That's good to know. I, I had to retire at 26 due to concussions primarily. Mm -hmm. and, like, and I got that too. Yeah. The CTE stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, me and my brother here played football since we were seven years old. Right. And I remember going head to head just we kill each other. Like, it was like, how many, how many scars could we could have put on our helmets, you know? It was like a yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And I remember my first concussion, I was probably like eight years old, nine years old, something like yeah. that. And just accumulation of, of, of just head trauma. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I remember talking with Dean. Dean Thomas was my, was my, yeah. uh, was my coach since I was 19. Wow, yeah. Yeah. So great guy. I, I remember talking with him and I go, what do you think? And he's like, man, if this was like your your knee or your your elbow or something like that, we could we could work around it. You could work around your brain, you know. No, no, yeah. And at that moment, I was like, man, I still have more to give. But then I thought about it, and I and I recollected like every day, two or three times a day, I trained my butt off for nine years at that point, and I was like, I think now is a time where I can let it to rest and go and pivot somewhere else. Right, right. And, and be the best at what I can be right. going further. Right. You know, so I, I, I do like that you said that. Right. Because a lot of people, they, you know, they, they retire, they come back. They retire, yeah. they come back. You know? I, I, I don't know. I'm nothing against these people. Mm -hmm. But what makes you think? I, no, what makes you think? You retire at 36, say. Say people retire at 36, 37, right? Mm -hmm. What makes you think... And you and you're not like you didn't do that great at that age, mm -hmm. right? What makes you think at like 40 that you're gonna be better than 37? Yeah. <laughs> or 43 yeah. at 37? No, yeah. it ain't happening. Yeah. In your mind, it is. Sure. You're stubborn, whatever it is, but mm -hmm. but physically, it's just yeah, it's not, not there. Not there. It's not gonna be there. No. I I think that. So there's a lot of people that start off later in life and mm -hmm. I think that that's for a good reason I think sometimes they're not like with you you started young because you've grown up into boxing right, right. right some guys don't get into it till a little bit later and they may not have been mature enough to deal with the stresses of the sport and then right. when they get mature then they can do that but there's a difference between like knowing when it's over yeah. and trying to come back and yeah that's when people get hurt and that's when long-term injury starts exactly happening. yeah you exactly know? and that's you know, people say to me, you know, I want to come back. I want to, I mean, what do you think? I said, don't do it. Yeah. I'm telling you straight up. I, don't, I know you're a, you were a great fighter. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to, it's not going to be the same. You think everything's going to be faster, stronger. I, no, time has passed. Yeah. These, these people, these kids are in shape. They're strong. They're working with people like you. You're in here just training by yourself or with someone else and you want to come back and you're fighting a lion. Yeah. Someone, you you got you teaching uh, box jumps over a freaking <laughs> yeah. for the this time, right? <laughs> and you want to fight someone like that, like a yeah. kid that's like... It's different. Caged animal. Yeah. You can't do it. Yeah. And these kids, I've been seeing it but now. No, I'm ahead. sorry to cut you off. Know what it is with them? They love that limelight. Of course. I, I didn't care about it. I still don't care about it. I, yeah. I, that's the last thing I wanted. Yeah. I'd rather be in the back of the room and no one know me. 
than being a fraud. Let's make you white. I don't care about that. Nah, I don't want that. That's, that's a good. Uh, that's you know a good I mean? thing that you said. That I know I did right in here. That's all matters to me. Right, I know in here, right yeah. in my heart. Yeah. That's all I have to know. Well, you're a fighter, like a yeah. true fighter. Right. You yeah. know, and there's a lot of them that get into the sport for that. The wrong reasons. The wrong reasons. Yeah. 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 They want. They want that line. They don't want to be known as that guy that's the toughest in the room and all yeah, that. Yeah. It's an ego thing. Yeah. And that's why they come back most of the right. time. It's it's like, okay, it's not unfulfilled. It's just yeah. you just miss that being the center of attention. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A toughest guy in the room, I'll say, I, I bang my, I could take a million punches off the head. Boom, boom, I'll yeah. keep coming back at you. I bang my toe on the coffee table. I'm on the ground crying for my wife. <laughs> She's like, what the <laughs> hell? She goes, you took a million punches in the head. She goes, and you're on the ground crying. I go, I, I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know different. what I mean? Like, yeah. Calibre, you know what I mean? Man. It's like <laughs> it's a different type of pain. You know what's funny is that like I can get guys that uh, that like spar for like the, I don't want to put Dustin under the table. Never mind. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about Dustin. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Some some fighters. Right, right, yeah. So these guys can spar for hours, right. like you know, 10, 12 rounds mm -hmm. easy, right? Then I throw them on a prowler push, like you know, a little prowler, a little slow. Yeah, yeah. And do that for about maybe five rounds of like 10 yard sprints, and they're dying. Yeah. You know, it's it's nowhere near the amount of volume that they're doing inside the ring. Right. But because it's a new stimulus, exactly. it's like it's hard for them. And it's the same thing with you banging your shin. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. That and it's a mental part, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's they're not the good mental, at it. Right, you know? it's that because they're not good at it. And, and they know that it's going to get them beat up or tired mm. or whatever. They're like, oh, no, man, I got to do that. I said, okay, let's go. Let's mm. just do it. And your mind, your mind, you start saying, why don't you put in your mind, like, that's funny, like I was saying about this. That's why I always, every fight I had or whatever I did and trained, whatever, I always put my mind, I can keep going. Yeah. I don't care how tired I was. Yeah. I never said in my mind, I can't do it. Because mm -hmm. no what's funny is once you say in your mind, I don't care who you are, once you say in your mind, I can't do it, you're done. It's over. You cannot turn, you, you cannot turn this mm -hmm. other way. Yeah. So I always try to like, uh, I used to be beat, like I feel a lot of fights, I come back in the 10th round. Mm -hmm. People say, oh yeah, you didn't do nothing. But I just knew I, I could keep going. Just, I mean, yeah. I'll take all these punches. I don't care if I just land that one or whatever. I'll, I, whatever, give me a chance. Yep. Yep. Because you can't. See, once you quit in your mind or whatever, you're done. I did read that, like, in, and there's been fights that you were losing, like the Sanchez fight was, yeah, was oh, one yeah. of the one of the Big biggest time. ones, right? Oh, 100 percent. The pr the pressure he was putting on you, oh, and, yeah. and like, and you were you were on your bike a lot. You were, oh, shit, you were yeah. moving. My legs were so good that night, right? Yeah. I didn't want to stop. Yeah, yeah. And. Granted, he punched hard, and I sure. give him that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was funny when he, uh, he had me, he dropped me. Mm -hmm. He caught me with a good mm -hmm. shot. I was switching yeah. southpaw from right to southpaw. Mm -hmm. He caught me in the middle. For some reason, that was not my night. I just had, I trained hard. I trained in, in uh, I think, I trained in Big Bear. Uh, maybe, uh, I forget, mm -hmm. but uh, I was ready. Yeah. It, it wasn't that I was scared of him running. No, I wasn't scared of all of them. Yeah. Just, I just had a wrong... I just started moving it, and my legs was, I could have oh, ran the Boston Marathon twice, I think. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? I'd move it right after, boo, yeah. boo, and stop this yeah. fight. Merchant was like, oh, oh yeah, stop it. Yeah, <laughs> stop it, and get yeah. the money paid. People should be getting their money back. I'm saying, <laughs> mother F is you. Right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. and I win you all over when I do this. Of course, this. of course. Yeah. So, Roy Jones gave me the benefit of the doubt, Roy. He goes, I know Mickey Ward, he's a little different. I know he's getting beat up now, but yeah, we'll see. And, uh, mm -hmm. Finally, I tapped him to the head. I knew it, like in the, in the seventh, sixth round or something. I tapped him to the head, ripped to the body, and I caught him at towards the end of the round. He saw it, yeah. And I and I heard him go, oh. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I'm gonna go back to him. I'm saying to myself, and then that guy, then um, mm -hmm. the referee passed away. Now Mitch Halpin. Yeah. He come in the corner. He goes, you gotta show me something, Mick. We're gonna uh, stop. Uh, We're gonna yeah, stop yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. no, Mitch, don't, don't stop, stop it. Don't stop it. it. Like, yeah. You know, and it is kind of like in the movie. Oh, that, but it wasn't that dra dramatic. But mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop this having fun, right? I, but I didn't know I can, I can, what I could do. But I was gonna go out there and give it my all. If I was gonna get knocked out, so we were gonna get knocked yeah. out throwing punches or whatever. Of course, not yeah. Just go out on your shield, yeah. So I went out there and caught him with that body shot. And oh, when he man. went down, right? Flushed too. It wasn't I coming. I ran over to the corner. He told me to go to the neutral corner. I ran yeah. over to it. Then I had to go back to this corner. I ran over to that corner, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking. I'm he's he's on his knee now. Uh huh. And I'm looking at him, and like, um, I'm going, like, I'm, I'm looking for get the up. camera, like, uh, come on, get up, I'm gonna kill you, right? I'm saying to myself, I swear to God, yeah, yeah. don't fucking get up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, don't get up. Oh, I'm saying, man. don't get yeah. up. He didn't get up. I was like, yeah, I go, yeah, I knew yeah. it. I was but amazing. I was like, 
no, what am I? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he's down. I'm saying, fuck, stay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't get that up. That was great. So you yeah. knew, and, But from that point on, yeah, everything went up for me. Yeah. My mindset was different from that point up. Um, mm. I just, I think I came into my, and I was later on in my age, too, mm. but I matured from like 34 to 37, I was my strongest. Yeah. That's usually when people get old. Sure, yeah. But wow. I never abused my body, like, or whatever, outside stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, whatever, yeah. like, really, you know what I mean, so. Yeah, you want a big, like, and that's funny, because, like, Irish in Lowell, yeah. it was drinking, drinking oh, yeah, shit. all the way around. Yeah, <laughs> by the corner, kind of, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Talk, talk, talk about it. I think my share of beer and stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. I, How's this? And this is another thing that I could uh -huh. be proud of, I guess, is um, I would never, ever drink before party, bef at least six weeks before a fight, whatever. Yeah. I never, ever, nothing. never, no ever beer, mixed nothing. it. I trained my butt off every time. Yeah. I never did that. Yeah. I've done, when I drank and did some other stuff, I did yeah. that after fights. After fights, yeah. When yeah. I got involved with that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you grew up around... A all lot it. of it. I grew yeah. up with it all in front of me, mm -hmm. all yeah. over the place. Mm -hmm. I think I was reading um, about your uh, the family get-togethers, the picnics, and the, and the barbecues. <laughs> you would see the fights, oh, the adults God. going after it. Oh yeah, my kids is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kids socks. Oh yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my my mother hitting it like well, the one of the oh, other well. sisters or whatever. Going my after father it. Father fighting with the other guy, be yeah. like. Man. Never once was there like a, at the lake. Yeah, that's the biggest fight you've seen. Oh man! Right? <laughs> yeah, oh, always, man. always. When one would start, always be one person has to start, and, yeah. then, and it would just go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then, but then after that, they're all really hugging each other and stuff. After the next day. Of course, yeah, it's family. It's, it's family. family. Yeah. If it was someone, they all talk about each other. But if someone mm -hmm. else talked about it, they all kill them. Yeah, but of course. Really, yeah, it's know, outsiders. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You can't let the outsiders talk shit. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So uh, when you hurt your hand, you had a switch stance, right? Well, I always switch stance, mm -hmm. but uh, that made me. That made my left hand. Uh, being a righty, my right hand should be my dominant hand. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But from hurting it all the time and with the breaking and with you know, I mean, um, I always worked on my left. Mm -hmm. The left hook, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That became my strongest, strong hand. Yeah, that that left hook, left uppercut to the body. Yeah, yeah. See, and people say, you know, wow, what a wow, a strong punch. No, it wasn't strong at all. And mm. It was more the speed of it mm -hmm. and the accuracy, like mm -hmm. where I placed it. Precision. Precision, where yeah. I placed it. It wasn't the power. It was mm -hmm. the speed. Cause speed generates power. You know that for yep. anybody. Yep. And was just, and that, and it was just the snap of that shoulder, like that, yeah. boom, like mm -hmm. that, boom, that little foot. Yeah, you place it right. It, Right in that liver, like right there. Yeah, that'll, that'll knock when you get hit there. The, 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 so I was told by a doctor that it, mm -hmm. what it does is it Shut stops the, the blood down. from going to the brain for that. Like that's how they get the delayed reaction. Oh yeah, yeah. And then they drop. Yeah, yeah. I've 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 put kicks to livers, and it's so like you know. yeah, and it's and I've gotten kicked in the liver. Yeah. And it's the worst feeling ever. Like yeah. I'd rather get knocked out. Right, yeah, exactly. Because you're in excruciating pain. Yeah. Yeah. Being down. Mm -hmm. You're knocked Pissing out, you're just out. Yeah. You're knocked out, you're just out. You get up yeah. and, okay. Mm -hmm. On the next one or whatever, you know. I know. What was, what was like, what was the hardest you've ever gotten hit? Oh, you man. remember? Been a lot of it doesn't guys. have to be a boxing fight. It should be anything. No, no, I was, I don't know. I might have been a boxing fight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, the the Gotti fights and stuff. Gotti punch, yeah, he hit me hard. The throw hit me hard when my brain shifted. He caught the top of the head there. Oh, yeah. the sixth round, my brain shifted and I yeah, yeah. double for, from seventh round to the tenth. Oh wow! And I'm saying, Dick, I see three. Don't worry about that. Don't yeah. fucking worry about it. Yeah, I'm the one in there seeing three. You got hit the one in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, the, one, the one in the middle kept moving. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't oh, know. Man. I fought a lot of good guys. Like when I was younger, I fought. Frankie Warren, he was a strong little guy, you yeah. know. He was like ranked as he was not ranked number three in the world. He was just mm -hmm. Buddy McGirt, Hall of Famer. Oh yeah. He beat yeah. Buddy, then Buddy beat him wow. for the title. Uh, mm -hmm. IBF 140. So I fought nice. him younger. Guys like Edwin Corrett fought younger. Um, mm -hmm. Mike Mungin, the guy in the movie there, he punched hard. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sparring Reggie, partners. Yeah, yeah. sparring partners did. Reggie mm -hmm. Green, he mm -hmm. punched hard. Charles Murray, the natural oh, yeah. Murray, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he had some snap on his punch. 
Yeah, and it, usually like, it's not the bigger guys. It's it's no. the guys that have that 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 like pinpoint accuracy, yeah. and then they can put it together very yeah. fast. And then, like you said, power is is force times velocity. Yeah, yeah. So you can produce that force in a in a higher rate. Exactly. And yeah. Put it on the right spot. It's you, over. You know, hurt you. What you what you don't see, that's what hurts you. You know, yeah. like, that's happening. The speed sure. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, so I, I definitely want to talk about the Gotti fight. So the first one, right? You won that one, mm -hmm. like. Going into that fight, and this was, you were like, obviously the underdog, right? And nobody really knew who you were at that point. Right, right? yeah. Someone like the Rocky. Yeah, right? yeah, kind of, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, and, yeah, basically. And then he found out very quickly, yeah. you know, and rest in peace, Atori Gotti. Yeah, 100%. 100% yeah. Man. Um, when did you know that he, he knew that you were the real deal in the fight? I think in the third round. Yeah. You know, because um, I think when I caught him in the third, I slow, start slowing him down and mm -hmm. just that constant pressure. Yeah. The first fight, he never hurt me once. Even on the ropes from the back, he never, I was never hurt. Mm -hmm. Second and third, I was on Queer Street, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, never. Yeah. But uh, he, he banged me. To the, he never came in with a body shot to the third fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he caught me right here on the side of the solar plex. Oh, yeah. Like, he went... Dug underneath it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, like, kind of, like, bounced off my hair. Oh, yeah. right, right into the And I was breathing uh, in. Diaphragm. Mm -hmm. I was breathing in. I'm like, oh, my God. Is it, is I shit my pants or what? And I was yeah. like, oh! I'm like, wow. I can't yell at you. He goes, tell you little bitch. <laughs> 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 I go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> trying to hold it in. Like, trying to come down from that. No, I'm like, just going, like... Like yeah, you said, yeah, going, you're saying, please don't come. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse like, psychology, good. by the way. Yeah, I've done that. If I get there, I've done that, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but he was, uh, that first fight was something, huh? Yeah. You know, he obviously, at the beginning, he was boxing good, and mm -hmm. I, just, I just got him into the fight that I wanted. Mm -hmm. People cool. thought they would break me down, and he, he could, but they didn't know that, the resilience I had. Sure. And how I trained, and mm -hmm. I had a good chin. Yeah. And yeah, then, we um, found out, yeah. You know, I just kept coming. After the fight. My condition. Well, that, you've always had great conditioning, always, too. Yeah. What did you do for that, by the way? Just run? Just yeah. road work? Yeah. Run my there, wasn't a lot of, there wasn't strength and conditioning, obviously, I, back I, then. I, did, I used to do, uh, I, I did box jumps. I did gotcha. uh, running with the thing on me. The sled. The sprints. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. that stuff. Um, you, had a, you, you attached the I, sled, or was it like a... No, like the wind thing. Like, um, like oh, someone would yeah. hold me. Someone would be holding it. I oh, run. like a band? Yeah, like a band, the guy behind me yeah, holding yeah, it, and yeah, I'm yeah. sprinting. Wow, that when was this? What year was, was this? It was in 98 or something, I don't know. Wow, yeah, that's, that's that, before it really got popular. Yeah, yeah. Nice. There, and uh, we used to do all kinds of stuff, like uh, mm -hmm. the, oh, those friggin' bands on my legs. Yeah. I got friggin' French bread sticks, you know what I mean? The Stella Doros, my legs. <laughs> right? Yeah. He puts the bands on me, so uh -huh. I got the bands on me. You keep my legs across, like, dig, yeah. dig, dig, keep dig, going. right, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I couldn't even sit on the toilet for friggin' like a week. I'm like, Are you should, why am I doing this? I said, I'm yeah. a boxer. I'm not. But it helped. It helps. It helps 110%. It helps. But at the time, you're like, like, what am I doing this for? Who is, who is doing this? Who is Mike Boyle. It? Mike was doing it. At Mike Boyle's place, yeah. 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 And uh, That's so crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh. I couldn't sit on the toilet. I yeah. go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh my god! But it yeah. got me strong. It got yeah. me strong mentally here. Yeah. Sure, definitely. Going through it and stuff. Well, and that's one thing that I look at with a lot of the boxers and and, and a lot of old school boxers. I don't want to say old school because I hate that term, but yeah. you know what I mean. Um, the older gentlemen, older coaches, don't believe in like training legs in general. And I had right. to run. Yeah, that's important. To, and I was like, well, how are you going to generate your power from the ground up? Yeah. And like a lot of times, guys wouldn't have the legs to finish rounds. Yeah. And so you got to get your legs stronger. Yeah. And a lot of that comes from, like, the, you could have ran stairs, you could do yeah. hill sprints and yeah. the sleds, the band That's runs, like you were doing yeah. the bands. Yeah. All that stuff plays a big role. Mm -hmm. um, that was good that you actually did. I didn't know you worked with Mike Boyle like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, awesome. Mike was great. Mike, is, his staff was uh, tremendous, you know? Yeah, definitely. We were, I, was, mm -hmm. I was training right alongside a lot of NHL guys. Yeah, he, he worked with the like Boston that. Bruins and stuff. Yeah, yeah he did, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we were doing, like, uh, BU and stuff. He mm -hmm. did and all mm -hmm. the guys and uh and here I am, I was a little yeah. <laughs> skinny to work, right? Like, I can't even do nothing, right? But, yeah. but I was trying, you know yeah. what I mean? I was trying. Yeah. And, but the one thing you can say is like, yeah, so I have endurance in my, Yeah, I have endurance in my leg. Sure. My legs are thin, like skinny, but mm -hmm. they go forever. Yeah. I don't have that big leg, but and, and my, where my power came from was more, when I Torque. threw, it came from more just like. Yeah, shoulder. Just that, just that little like, like wow, like that, that little like that. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Just say, turning, just just like that the speed of it and turn. Wow. A lot of that's technique. Yeah. A lot of that's 100%. technique and just knowing how to place them. Right. You yeah. Know? Placing yeah. it is the, is the key. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of times when people, like a lot of fighters, they try to look for the, the knockout, they never get it. No, no. You know, it's got to be there when it's there. It just comes. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Come so anyway, yeah. when, when you were talking about uh, reverse psychology, what were we talking about? You said you got something for me with that. We oh, used, I forget. <laughs> we'll come back to it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I know hey, that. Thanks, Otero. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's it, that's yeah. it. Yeah. So the second fight, right, now, was it like an immediate rematch? Like, all right, we're going to do a rematch right after, or was it? No, it was time? now. They were going to give me, like, I guess, I think I could have took a couple, like, I got a big fight or whatever, and uh, yeah, we wanted to give a Toro the rematch because it was so good, so sure. we said we're going to give a Toro the rematch because he deserves it. We look so close on the fight. Uh, either yeah. way, uh, you know, plus it was, like, good for, like, Money-wise, a lot better than I'd get for someone else in kind of type of fight. The first fight was, um, we said, let's do it. Um, mm -hmm. So we fought, um, our f first fight was in June. Mm -hmm. And the second fight we fought, like, uh, I don't know, we fought in what? Six months November. later? Oh, okay. Yeah, June. Wow. Yeah, we six, fought, six like, months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Six uh, months, so that was a quick turnaround. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, what, was the, what was the preparation like for that one? Same. Now that you knew. Yeah, same, same thing. Same thing. I never changed it for nothing. Yeah. I just <laughs> for laugh, right? <laughs> I just got my ass in shape. Yeah. And I just fought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just killed myself in the gym. Yeah. And I said, what am I gonna change at 38, 37? I get in shape and move yeah. my maybe Dicky did say one time I came back to the corner, right? Mm -hmm. I come back to the corner, I'm all blood, and I start bleeding the first round, right? I'm all blood. Yeah. He goes, you can move your fucking head once in a while, he yeah. says. I go, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I did a good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can move your head once in a while. It's not against the law. I go, all right, thank you. <laughs> You're nice. telling me now at 37, 38. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you, um, huh. that was a big pay increase from yeah. from the fight. Like, you got the you got cut in your last year fight previous, right? Yeah, I got a cut. I got stitches in my eye. Yeah. yeah. Now, how did that cut happen? I didn't I didn't watch that one. On uh, the first fight? Yeah. The first fight, he, he I think he gave me with a, uh, a right hand. Or a okay. It wasn't a butt, though. No, no. Okay. No. All right. Yeah. And then, so, like, the, you're talking about you made at least a million on that fight, right? Correct. Second one I did. Second one. And Second they one. they saw the value in the first I got, fight. I got a million after they gave, like, all the, they got everyone there. I made the million. Nice. So I just got like the taxes taken out. Sure. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. so literally it was probably one point seven mm -hmm. with everything involved. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's gotta help a little bit. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, that's gotta. Yeah, it help. helps. Cause you're you're yeah. still working, right? Yeah, I'm working. Still well, at that point I was working, and then I kind of stopped because mm -hmm. you know these were two. It's a big fight. I had I had to like give everything I had to these sure. ones. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, the second one, yeah, when he hit me that mm -hmm. third round, he. Nail me on my ear here, mm -hmm. right on the top of here, mm -hmm. like right in here. Oh yeah, you got a little cauliflower? I don't know. I, know, I, I have stitches in there from uh, oh, the gotcha. kids going through a window, chasing <sighs> Dickie. <laughs> I ran <laughs> down a window, I went, but those the square windows on yeah. the side of the doors, I yeah. slid, I went right through it. <laughs> I was a little kid there, I'd take my ear, was hanging off. Oh man. They had to take me a little kid in there. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he caught me with a right hand, mm -hmm. I threw a lazy jab, and uh, he went, you know, he timed it right, boom. Mm -hmm. And I was on Queer Street. I thought I just didn't know where the hell I was. I went face first into the corner. Oh, man. Right? I got stumbled back. And yeah. I'm going like this. I, I don't even know where I am. I'm doing that. It's automatic. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell myself that, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going like that. And he's like, and I'm like, hey. and then um, what, Morton, uh, J J what's, his first, what's his first name? Jay Morton? No, J Jenks, Jenks, no, something Morton. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke, Carl Morton, or something like that, the referee. Yeah. referee he passed yeah. away, too. Okay, yeah. Funny. <laughs> Toro's passed away and the two referees. Hmm. After that. But anyways. Rough uh, sport, man. That's yeah. Sport. <laughs> so anyways, uh, he's giving me the eight count and all that. And uh, I'm saying, like, they hit me in the ear or something like that. I'm going like that. Yeah. Okay. He, he gave me the benefit of the doubt, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what type of fighter we are. Yeah. So let me continue, and uh, Toro lets us continue. So I'm go going like this, right? Saying, "Come on." Mm -hmm. 
the punch he hit me with, this punch he hit me with now was even better than that one. He went <laughs> boom, boom, whop, with a right hand, right on the butt and caught uh, me, right? That woke me up. Yeah, yeah. I swear in my yeah. life. Hello, I'm I, back. <laughs> it, I, I, my legs were still gone, but my uh, brain was like normal. Yeah. I, 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 everything, nothing was going <laughs> no more. He pushed it back in place. <laughs> yeah, but my legs, were, my legs were gone though. They were still like, whoa. So I went back to that car, I was like, whoa, whoa, I was out of it. Yeah. But, I, but yeah. He beat me big time in the second fight. Yeah. I just couldn't continue. I just couldn't get going after that. I, my, my, I was dazed the whole fight. And you, but you trained hard for that oh, yeah. fight. It was, it was more. Oh, it was his night at that point, right? I think he might have beat me anyways that night. I don't know, but mm. with, with that uh, knockdown and this, the yeah. air drum there, um, uh -huh. it's so. It was it's, his night. It's always those small little details. Yeah, it you is. You know, it's, it's just... like right there. You know, mm -hmm. if you make one bad decision or you get hit one bad way or something yeah. like that, it could change the trajectory of the yeah. entire fight. Yeah, that and then the Ed Brown was partially busted, so it was like mm -hmm. the next day I was still dizzy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not like you're falling, not like that at mm -hmm. all. But I was still like, whoa. Mm -hmm. When you lay down, I was like, whoa. How long did it take to recover from that fight? That one, it took a little bit longer. Well, I don't know. I fought again right in um, November. Then I fought in June. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So November, so six months again. Yeah. Wow. I fought him thir three times in 13 months. <sighs> that's, that's a tough three <laughs> fights right there. That's a and you're supposed to have one fight like that a career. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was, both of those fights were one and three. Well, one and three were fight of the year. Fight of the year. Yeah. yeah. So the third fight, what did you, did you change anything or you nope. stayed the same? Yeah. Just nope. game plan wise was just kind of like. It was, game plan more. wise, it was move the head a little bit more. Yeah. It was using the jab a little bit more instead mm -hmm. of just walking straight in with my hands up high. Gotcha. Because the toys say he has those big pillows. He says for hand, for arms, I go yeah. well, my forearms. I'd be like this. Yeah. He couldn't get me. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. <laughs> I really want to break my defense. Mm -hmm. So it was more of moving ahead, trying to use my jab more, I was trying to stay more relaxed. Um, mm -hmm. But it's it starts off like that. But then at 38, I was just said, "F it." Yeah. Fight. I, I have to make him not tired, but I have to put pressure on him to mm -hmm. make him kind of fight to get like get, get so I can land. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can, it, the way he was moving, I was just you making him fight your fight. You trying know? to yeah yeah. And by doing that, I had to come forward and start and take punches, and then I mm -hmm. take the punches and come back and take them. Yes. Then the sixth round, I come with the overhand right, mm -hmm. and this is a true story. Mm -hmm. God's honest truth is now. Uh, Sixth round, I knock him down. I come at the end of the, at the end of the sixth round. I throw an overhand right, caught him on top of the head. He went down. Oh wow! Right. Bell rings right after that. I go back to my corner. Usually the seventh round, mm -hmm. I'm gonna come out mm -hmm. and go out and get all over you because I know you still be hurt a little bit. You know, you sure. still be wobbly or whatever. Mm -hmm. So when I get off the, the when I get up to go out for the seventh, <clears throat> yeah. I knocked him down. Right. The f everything I had, right, my body just came out of me. Mm -hmm. I got old like that. They say like, Drained, huh? just done. I was done. I was done after I knocked him down. Yeah. Usually I'd come out and try to finish you. When I get up off the stool, it was like I got knocked down. You gave everything I got you old. for that one. I, I got old that final in that round, round. I, and, that, and it happened and I hung on. And then the seventh round, he went with the left hook on top of the head. That's when my brain shifted in my skull. And uh, I was out of it, but and I started seeing three, and I don't know how I stood up, but I did. I just kept stupid me doing that again, right? Put my hands up. I well, didn't know how to do it. So I can cover up right? <laughs> and come forward. Yeah. And and he goes that way or that way, you know. He ain't gonna come straight back at me. Yeah. He'll hit me like on an angle, which won't be that bad because if he hits me, if I back him into the ropes, he ain't gonna be able to load up on sure, me. Yeah. I don't know. I was just something. I was just trying to back trying him up something. and just trying to survive for the last three rounds in the most last. I mean, at but that I tried point, to give him my all. I, I tried the hardest, but well, it, you did. I just didn't. Listen, you didn't try. You did. Yeah. Let's put it like that. You did. And it, it, everybody it, saw it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it happened the way it happened, and um, I wouldn't change nothing. Yeah. The way I fought is just that was me. Yeah. That's the way I am. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. I can't say oh, I'd fight. Would you ever? Would you ever fight any different? No. Yeah. I'd probably fight a little smarter, mm -hmm. maybe, but I'd fight. Yeah, I think I think mostly it'd be like from a tactical standpoint. It may be who I am, though. I mean, that's me, though, I guess. That's true. That's very true. You know what I mean? Like, you, like, you yeah. look at yourself sometimes, you say, that, that, I'm me. Yeah. I ain't yeah. gonna change for no one. I, 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 you do, you probably do certain things. Are you married? 
Yes. Oh, your wife is like, oh my God, but it's you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to change. It. Yeah. It's the person you are. Yeah, that's true. That's you know very I mean? true. And, and you're very self aware, yeah. which is important. Like, people don't yeah, understand. And, and then that. people, like, and I'm awful open about oh, if I'm hurt, if I think I lost, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. There's no ego. No, I don't care. Nah, yeah. I have with that. Yeah. Isn't, isn't it? It, it's, it's an ego. That you, you're very self assured. Like, yeah. you know, there's no insecurities there no. in, that, in that perspective. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody has somewhat of an insecurity. You know? Right, yeah. My hair looks bad or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, like, in all actuality, yeah. it's like yeah. you're so comfortable with your profession and yeah. where you've been, all the effort that you put in right. that nobody can really say anything. Right, you know, I, whether I won or lost, I gave my all, I trained hard, um, I respected my opponent. Mm -hmm. I, I try to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, that's all you can do. So I can be happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, if I was an asshole, if I was this, I was that, I did it, did it, did it. You know, yeah. it'd be different. You're definitely but, not an asshole. That's no, right. no. <laughs> but the only thing about it is, is like, that's why people like uh, talk a lot of crap before fights. I don't know how people do that. Because anything can happen in boxing, MMA, whatever it might be, any yeah. kind of combat sport. Yeah. You never know. Unless you're Floyd Mayweather or someone that's like, Pretty much, you know, Floyd's probably like above everyone, way above. You know, I mean, he was a special breed, one mm -hmm. in a, a million, billion, one in a billion, probably. Mm -hmm. It was Floyd. People say, "Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna there." Then they get knocked out, and they look like an asshole. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like just go, out, just say, "Yeah, I, I'm confident I can beat him. I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna beat him, but anything can happen. Yeah. Like it can happen. Be real. So that's being real." You're just trying to psych yourself up. Sure. And well, by doing that, that's just, I mean, so, maybe that's a good thing, or maybe I don't think, I think it's a, kind of a bad thing, because you, you, kind of times you, you think you can beat him, you're gonna go, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, they go in there, like, not cautious. They just, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know, and they get nailed, boom, I, changes it. I do think that that is a way of them psyching themselves up. Yeah, you know, it is. And, and, and giving them the, the confidence that they need to do it. Exactly, yeah. but you know how confidence is, is it too much confidence? Mm -hmm. Is it the right confidence? Yeah. Like, you, you, you can fight with nerves, right? Mm -hmm. You fight great with nerves, yeah. little nerves. But if you have too nervous, you're drained. Sure. It yeah. drains everything out of you. Absolutely. So yeah. it's kind of like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, you see the guys now, and these fighters are, are, are kind of taking that Conor McGregor approach. Yeah. A lot of them. Right, know? yeah. And, and it's, you could say it's for selling tickets or, you know, yeah. whatever the case. Um, I've seen some guys that, that still do it really well, that don't have to talk a whole lot and still can sell tickets. I mean, yeah. like Dustin, he does the same thing. 100%, he doesn't talk yeah. a lot. He, right. he can sell, still sell tickets. Do you think that with boxing, is that something that, that needs to be done more? Or, like, what do you think? You can, we think we can do without it? What, the, uh, the, the talking? Well, actually, uh, me personally, I don't like it. Yeah. But it sells. Sure. Puts people in the seats. Yeah. It, it's like the villain and a good guy and a villain, mm -hmm. bad guy, whatever. And a good guy. You know yeah, what I mean? The white guy. I mean, not the white guy. The bad Whiteness. guy and a good guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. It's like. I get it. You it's know, it does like sell. It, it does. Yeah. But it, it comes a time when that person that keeps doing it, doing it, and getting beat and beat, saying, I'm going to be down. And, uh, oh, come on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it's we see that a lot nowadays. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say the name. Right. right. <laughs> but we see it a lot nowadays. Exactly. So, all right, so now what are we doing with Live Train? I know, I know you know. Right, Live Train, well, um, it's a mobile app where you can train with um, myself. Mm -hmm. We have on the boxing side, we got me, Larry Holmes, Jerry Cooney, Michael Spinks. Nice. We have uh, a couple of my brother Dickie's on the f platform for oh, trainers. Nice. Um, you know, it's a platform where we do MMA sure. and we do wrestling. So, those are our three top three things times. right now. And, uh, you can either you can either train f live live with someone on a mobile app, you know, on your tablet or whatever. Yeah. Like say you call me, you set up a training session with me. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will weigh me. I'm gonna tra they're gonna train with me a certain day. Mm -hmm. You know, and you come on, you, comes on, and you train with them and stuff like that. And oh, you know, right. you pay the fee, whatever to train or yeah. whatever it is, what or the membership fee, whatever, and then you train with them. Or you can do like a Q and A, mm -hmm. a mindset training, like. Nice. People go, okay, and just talk to you. Like, yeah. how did you feel in this fight? How did you feel in the first Gaddy fight? Mm. How did you feel in the third one? How did you feel when he knocked you down? How did you feel? Mm. That, whatever it might be. That's and they can ask questions where you and just talk to you. That's cool. 
You know what I mean? And just like on the, on the wrestling side, we have uh, just one of the guys I think um, that won the gold medal. Yeah. David Taylor, is yep. it? Taylor. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I think he's on the platform. Mm -hmm. and you can do anything with him, wrestle like do wrestling yeah, with him, talk with him. That's great, yeah. A bunch of wrestlers like that, you know, mm -hmm. from John Smith, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and his son's involved in it. Really? One of the things. So uh, a lot of good wrestling and MMA guys, Dana gave me a bunch of guys. Oh, yeah? Nice. Ex fighters and stuff like that that mm -hmm. I, that can you can train with them or, or talk with them whatever you want. Yeah. So it's great. It's going uh, it's going good. Just start, pretty much just starting out, but uh, yeah. it will build. You know. I wanted to ask you, what do you think of MMA in general as a boxing, as a boxer? I like it. I, I think know? it's. I like it. I mean, I had very the very first I was not used no to. No pressure, it. by the way. No, 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 <laughs> no. no. No, I don't. I just tell you the truth. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, it's all good. You know. You know. Yeah, I like good. it. Yeah. It's just a different dynamic. It's just a different like. Uh, it's different because you know, you can turn around and, and swing. You can be yeah. boxing, turn around with a backhander. Yeah, that happened that, last that, weekend actually. It did. Yeah, you know, out. right? And the girl that got the elbow there yep. and knocked mm -hmm. that girl out. Um, mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But it's like a thing where if you're a good wrestler, mm -hmm. you can do it. If you're good, just a good boxer, you can do it. If you're mm -hmm. good, you know, jujitsu, you can do it. Sure. But yeah. I think it'd be hardest if you were only jiu-jitsu. But that's a jiu-jitsu. They get you on the ground, you're done. Yeah. Kind of. Nowadays, but if you hit them, it's, yeah, it's, a little it's over. Yeah. Nowadays, oh, wow. you're having guys that are really starting. Kids are starting young. Yes. Like how they started in boxing. Right, yeah. And so now you're getting hybrids. Now they're getting more well-rounded on exactly. all three of them. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, mm -hmm. there was just like the Gracies yep. and the jiu-jitsu and mm -hmm. the wrestling, you mm -hmm. know. The, yeah. The wrestling, you could just wrestle high school and you'd be good enough wrestler. Get by if you, you, then, if by. you, if you can throw your hands. Yeah. Then you little little, little uh, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Wrestlers were dominating MMA for yeah. a long time. Mm -hmm. For a long time because then they understood, like, if you got them to the ground and they're jiu-jitsu guys, well, then you would just take them down, win, you know, win yeah, all no. points or something like that. that or ground and pound, something ground like and that. Ground and pound, hold them, armbar, mm -hmm. they, 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 all those crazy things, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, What do you think about uh, MMA guys transitioning in, into boxing? Or at least boxing fights in general. You can be honest. Today. No, I, I think a day. I, I honestly, if you want to, why not? Yeah. As long as you're young enough. Sure. If you're not yet 35, or come on, or six, or whatever. I don't Some know. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should do it then. Yeah. If you're younger, do it maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I don't care how good you are. Just like a, a boxer. You go in the octagon, you're gonna get your head kicked in. Yeah. You might, if you don't knock the person out or hurt them, right? They're mm -hmm. gonna swallow you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they're gonna wrestle you down, yeah. right? Yeah. Or they're gonna get you down. It's you're with a backhand that you're not used to ever. Yeah. It's you know what I mean? Yeah. It's so different. Mm -hmm. But the boxing, though, the only thing about the boxing is if you don't boxing, you can hit them with a shot, and knock someone out. But now, what happens if you don't knock them out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. yeah. What? Well, so have you watched the bare knuckle fights yet? I've watched one. I yeah. I, I didn't see um, Tiago's fight. Yeah, yeah. That it's, is crazy. It's a brutal one. It's brutal. Yeah, I mean, with me with bad hands, I don't know how the hell they do it. They break their hands every fight. Every fight. I've I've cornered three guys now. In bare but the knuckle. face with the face. I mean, talk about brain scrambling. It's 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 that it's lacerations. It's those yeah, are, yeah, it's, yeah. It's but still, you get lacerations, but. The brain ain't scrambling around? Well, they're not getting hit as much. Maybe because in the head they get hurt their hands so they don't touch the head. Yeah, so um, the last fight that I was with, that I was at cornering a guy, um, one of the UFC like main guys transitioned mm -hmm. over to BKFC. Okay. You know, Chad Mendes. And he was like, you know, he fought Conor McGregor. He's, he was up yeah. there. And he's got power in his hands. And he said as soon as he hit, he hit the kid's no brush blood. and he was like, like, <laughs> what next? Yeah, he's like, now what do you I do don't know what I, if I want to hit him again. Right, you know? what are you so, doing? Yeah, it's it's tough because you know that you're bound, especially if you hit hard enough. Oh, yeah, 100%. Hand, you, you know? so, especially if someone wraps your hands up and like, tapes them or whatever, they put tape on it, yeah, right? It's like it, you do tape it from here. Up here, right above and the it's knuckle. It's just the wrist. It's just the wrist, yeah. So, I mean. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's, I don't know. I can't say if it's good or bad because yeah. I think it's, it's, I believe oh, it's I believe it's 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 gonna be better when you get more skillful fighters. Yeah. 
And the reason why I say that is because... Well, they're throwing haymakers now? They're throwing haymakers. There's a lot of guys just coming off hand. the streets. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's no real technique in a lot of ways. So, oh, like, it's like someone coming off a bar stool. Yeah. Basically. So it's, a, it's, it's a bar fight. Bar but, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> that actually was better than a lot of them. <laughs> you just did that way better than half of the guys. <laughs> um, but you got, you got guys like Tiago, you know. And, oh, I don't mean Tiago. I yeah, mean no, the other guys. He, yeah, he's yeah. a fighter, that kid. That's what I'm saying. But you have those, those very few yeah. that can do it. Um, right. And when you get to a level where all the fighters I like that, yeah. are like that, then right. it's going to be a lot more Yeah, I see that. Yeah. It'll be longevity. It, yeah. You know. But that's on your like you said the the cuts the facial lacerations um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your hands yeah yeah it's that's it's a like tough it's a tough I'll be like this the. I've 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 fought before I've cornered MMA I've cornered boxing how does it feel getting it's, in the face it's like so that. different well, with MMA no no no, no, no. Uh, yeah I never did it oh, oh I thought no, you no. said you did it no 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 I've cornered it and oh. I was like I was like uh, uh, you must uh, you must hear that yeah <laughs> like that. It's it's just like it, you're you're in the middle of a, of a, like a, a street fight, you know, in a ring, you know. Yeah. And I remember I was cornering uh, Sullivan Barrera. He fought Jesse Hart, and and Sullivan can crack. He's he, he can throw yeah, pretty yeah. hard. And I was like, damn, they're hitting hard. And boxers they punch harder than any mm -hmm. other fighter, right? Like MMA, whatever. And because of the gloves, like, and I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. and, but when I went to bare knuckle, I was just like, this is wrong. I was like, yeah. this is crazy. That's a you different know? level. Yeah, like. and they're coming to you, there's cuts everywhere. Oh, you know? yeah. It cuts everywhere. And yeah. it's just, if you don't know how to move your head, it's going to be. You better have a good cut, man. You better have a good cut, man. <laughs> yeah, and you better get your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's damn right. It's not long, it's not long right. lasting, for sure. I know. Uh, Mickey, anything else that you want to? pitch or bring any books, anything out that you have going huh? on, just live train? Pretty yeah, much. live train and uh, oh. Mickey Water Power, I got. Mickey, I need to get yeah. that. I need yeah. that. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come up. Are you in Are you in Lowell still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to come up. Gotta, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I got to come up. Come on or up. Something. Yeah, I got to go see, uh, I'll go see uh, Mike too as well. Oh, who? Up there. Mike Boyle. We'll go see oh, him. My, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll Mike's, yeah, Mike's um, on the up the street. And yeah. I got to show you the gym. So Definitely, yeah. I'd love to. Work with Maureen Shea next? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks again, brother. You got I appreciate it. it. You All right, got guys. It. See you next time.